Welcome from the Academic Success Center at Doan University. Do you feel comfortable in your knowledge to handle and manage your student loans? Do you know what options you have to repay those loans? Do you know where to go to find what loans you've taken out and who your loan servicer is? If not, you're in the right place. In this short video, I will help you navigate the complex world of federal student loans. First things first though, a loan simply is money you borrow, in this case from the federal government, to pay back with interest, which is a calculated percentage of that loan, paid to the lender for the privilege of using that money. In the case of your student loans, the federal government then contracts out to various entities, often private companies, to handle, manage, and collect the payments on those loans. There are four types of federal student loans available for college students. Direct subsidized, direct unsubsidized, direct plus, and a direct consolidated loan. It is important to know that each loan may have slightly different eligibility requirements and components to it. For example, a federal subsidized loan is need-based, given to those who meet eligibility requirements for financial need. In addition, the government pays the interest on the loan while you are still in school. This is in contrast to an unsubsidized loan, which is not need-based, and the interest starts to accumulate day one. Each, though, has a six-month grace period. A grace period, or a waiting period, is a buffer space after graduation and before repayment on those loans. The third type of federal student loan is a direct plus, which is taken out by a parent or legal guardian for a dependent undergraduate. The plus loan, though, has a couple of stipulations tied to it, such as a credit check and separate master promissory note. The interest rate also tends to be much higher than the subsidized or unsubsidized loan. So what ties your name to all these loans? Well, that would be what's called the master promissory note. The master promissory note, or MPN, is the legal contract in which you agree to repay the amount you borrowed plus any accrued interest and fees. But that isn't all. It's also a good source of information about your loans, such as how interest is calculated, when interest is charged, available repayment plans, late fees, collection charges, and deferment and cancellation options. But, you may ask, where else can I find information specifically about my loans? This is where the National Student Loan Data System comes in. The National Student Loan Data System is a website run by the Department of Education to track and house a student's federal loans. It is a one-stop shop for monitoring your loans, even if you have taken out loans to attend multiple institutions. The login information is the same as your FAFSA, so it should be able to log in at any point. Once in, you will see information pertaining to the loans you borrowed, how much, what type, the status of the loan, like whether it is deferred or in a grace period or in repayment. You will also find information about the loan servicer, the name, and their contract information. Now that you know where to locate information about your loans, maybe you are wondering how to start repaying them and what options you have. There are up to seven different plans available to students, and each one has different features. Some plans are fixed and set for a certain length of time. Others are defined by how much discretionary income you make, and others gradually increase the payments every couple of years. Nevertheless, it is important to find what option is best for your particular financial situation and how that can help stave off stress and burdensome payments. If you're unsure what option might be best for you, the Federal Student Aid Office offers a loan simulator, which is a series of guided questions to help you figure out which repayment strategy is best for you. Now for some final thoughts. If you have borrowed more than you need for the academic year, you do have options to return some or all of a loan. Work with your financial aid office to help you through the process. There may be some time limits on when you are allowed to return a loan with the financial aid office, so if you've passed that period, contact your loan servicers to see what options are available. Regardless, if you can prevent overborrowing, do so. Remember, that loan is a form of debt and must be repaid with interest, so make sure you borrow only what is necessary. Next, search out a student loan calculator available online. If you can calculate generally how much you will owe once you have graduated, these calculators can help anticipate what your monthly payments might be. 
Many of them also have options to calculate additional payments, so you can see how much time might be shaved off if you pay a little while you're still in school. Even a one-time payment toward your student loans during college can save months or years off the back end of that loan. All right, there you have it. Remember, there are steps you can take right now during college. Log into the National Student Loan Data System. Work closely with an academic advisor to make sure you are on course to graduate in the time you anticipate. And prepare yourself for repayment and what options you have once you've exited college. Thank you again from the Academic Success Center. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at ASC Dome.